right, time for 5.3, problem number two. Now, in 5.3, problem number two, evil hackers Evil hackers have taken over your car's computer system and forced your car to drive at its maximum velocity. It could happen, but fortunately law enforcement is there with a solution. They have got one of those arrestor nets like they use in aircraft carriers for stopping planes. So anyway, there they are, and they're going to try to stop you with this net. And hopefully, um, yeah, you can see that they're law enforcement. They got the um, hats. There we go. So they're going to try to stop you with this arrestor net. Now, we're going to try to find out how far this net's going to stretch before it stops you. The net has a spring constant of 10,000, which is about five times springier than the net that was used to try to save me from the building. So hopefully this will work. Now, we're going to do the same laws that we had before. Um, the, um, the, magnet, or the mechanical energy initially is going to equal the mechanical energy at the, at the finish. So we start out with kinetic energy. So kinetic energy is what we're going to start out with. And what we end up with kinetic energy initially, and we end up with elastic potential energy, P-E, potential energy, elastic, in the final situation. So let's go with our formulas here, okay? So my formula for kinetic energy is one-half mv squared, and that is equal to my elastic potential formula, which is one-half kx squared. Now, you probably have noticed that the formula for potential energy or kinetic energy is very similar for the for, to the formula for elastic potential. In fact, we got a half on both sides. We can take those out of the equation. We can cancel them out because if we multiply both sides by two, they're gone. So we end up with mv squared is equal to kx squared. The mass of my car comes in at 1,000. 567 kilograms. My car's max velocity is 42 meters per second. Now, your car is probably not an economy electric car. Your car probably has a max velocity that's greater than that. So even if your car is quite small, chances are you're going to get a kinetic energy that's bigger than mine. All right, just saying. Okay, no matter what your car's um, size is though, the K on the net is going to be the same. So it's 100,000 X squared. Now, just doing a little math here. My car's mass times 42 squared comes in at 1764. Again, your number's probably going to be bigger because your car is probably faster. It's equal to 100,000 x squared. I'm just going to stick with a blue marker. Um, you multiply these together, you get 2,764,188. You could probably round a little bit if you don't want to deal with all these digits. Um, is equal to 100,000 x squared. Divide both sides by 100,000. Cancel, cancel. Now dividing by 100,000 is very easy. You just simply move the decimal point one, two, three, four, five places. Um, and I get two, seven, six, four, one, eight, eight. Moving the decimal one, two, three, four, five places. So I get 27.6 blah, 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 is equal to x squared. It's a little over 27. Now, we don't want x squared, we want x. This is one of the most common things that happens. Somebody gets all the way down here, they solve for x squared, and they just leave it as x squared. Solve for x. You need to get the square root 
of both sides. When you do that, you get 5.257 meters equals x squared. Now, you only have two sig figs here, so we're going to round it to two sig figs. So let's just make that 5.3 meters is equal to x squared. Now, once again, your car is quite likely to be bigger than mine, and it's almost certain to be faster than mine which means that your kinetic energy is definitely going to be greater than mine. If your kinetic energy is greater than, your, than mine, this is the same for you. So that means that that net is going to stretch more because it's going to have to stretch more to stop your more energetic vehicle. So just be prepared for the fact that you're probably going to get a number that is bigger than this. Possibly significantly bigger. Possibly not. But expect your number to be bigger than mine, okay? And this concludes 5.3 number two.